Now it's time to return to our computer gaming face-off. We wanted to find out which is the best way to play computer games. PC. Or console. So I've built a custom machine, all right, to try and connect me to the noble art of gameplay. I think no amount of money is too much to prevent me from attaining my dream. But I think that you get a fantastic purpose-built gaming computer if you just use your noddle and buy a console. It was clear that we weren't going to agree. And you know what that means on the gadget show, don't you? Hey? Oh. <laughs> Challenge. This is Amiga Sector in Harrow, and it's one of a chain of massive computer gaming arenas. And today it's hosting the biggest battle it's ever seen. Me versus him. Console versus PC. We hired a private room for the day and kitted it out with everything we would need for our challenge. Yay! Wow, check this out. It's like a dream. We're locked in a room, Suze, with all the best consoles on the planet, a ridiculously yeah. powerful PC, hundreds of games. Yeah. You've got your little Superman T-shirt on. Yeah. You're wearing flat shoes so I feel taller. I don't believe I just did it's that. It's perfect. <gasps> the challenge. Oh, God, I was flashing. Did you see me? <laughs> That's I did good. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? This is my very own brand new gaming PC. Isn't it lovely? It's a liquid cooled neon cable monster. To take Jason on, I've got my choice of the three most advanced consoles that have ever existed in the history of forever. The Nintendo Wii, the Xbox 360, and the new boy on the block, the PlayStation 3 from Sony. We've got three tests lined up, and in a bid for victory, I can choose whichever console I think is most suited to each specific test. This is a test of gameplay. The Nintendo Wii is the machine that I am putting forward for this challenge. Now, I know I'm no gaming expert, but I do love playing with my Wii. Yes, I do know what I've just said, but our 27-year-old director just can't help himself. And he still thinks that jokes about we are funny. Despite the gratuitous use of obvious puns, the Wii has been a massive success. Every single Wii that has been produced has been sold pretty much straight away. That's over six million. Yes! It's great for this gameplay test, as the Bluetooth controllers with their motion sensors make it really fun to play. You control the game characters with a real-life wave of the arm, flick of the wrist, or smack in the face, which is brilliant. For me, it depends what your definition of fun is. I mean, there's no question that Susie's having a great time over there with the Wii. And I'm a big fan of the console, but it's a very simple, arcade, physical experience. Ooh. For me, my fun is about hardcore gaming. The opportunity to not just play a game, but to recreate reality. And the PC is the king of this. There are games you could lose yourself in for days if you wanted. The PC has gameplay that is second to none. And there's a whole bunch of peripheral controllers that add to the experience. You could even build your own. My mate Bob built this 747 cockpit in his living room for a flight sim. Even the basic keyboard and mouse make for some of the most enjoyable gaming experiences ever. Go on. Oh. There is no finer computer gaming interface than a keyboard and mouse. It's just so perfect, so evolved. It's as simple to use as a knife and fork. Yeah. And so, by offering such an intense and varied gaming banquet, as opposed to Louise's oh. light arcade snack, it's the PC that wins the gameplay round. OK, first, I'm going to blind, bamboozle and baffle you with numbers. I've spent a lot of time and money on the insides of this computer, so prepare to be blown away by my specs. And I don't mean these ones. I mean the ones in there. The insides of this PC are a genuine work of art. Just look, you can see them here. Look at the pretty lights while I tell you about it. I've got two RAID hard drives with 500 gig of storage, two gig of RAM, and a lovely dual-core processor overclocked to run nearly 50% faster. And even with the resolution cranked right up, the pictures on the screen are coming thick and fast, with no lag. It looks really smooth, and the sense of speed is awesome. Now that's power, Suze. Just check that slide out. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you're happy with your specs. The amount of money you spent building it 
I, on the other hand, have let a team of thousands design my computer for me. Behold, the most powerful games console ever, the Sony PS3. The PS3 has the advantage here because it's been designed from scratch with one purpose in mind, gaming. The PC is still constrained by having to work like a PC. The PS3, on the other hand, just uses its super-fast cell processor and monster graphics card to bring you games and graphics like this. You've got photographers at the side, look at that. Taking pictures, it's so exact, it's just extraordinary. So, it's the PS3 that technically wins the technical round. Hooray! online gaming with a console, you just have to go for the Xbox 360 with its Xbox Live. With over 2 million players, there are games for all abilities from novice to expert. All you need is a broadband connection and you're ready to go. You get a trial package included. After that, it can be up to £40 a year subscription. Subscription? Are you having a laugh, Suze? There are games that are free on a PC that you can play online that are bigger than anything you get on Xbox Live. And the ones you pay for, you know, you're talking millions of players, not thousands. World of Warcraft alone, for instance, has more than 8 million players. That's one game with more than four times as many players as everyone on the whole of Xbox Live. And look, we're both playing Rainbow Six online, me on the PC and Susie on the Xbox, but I've got nearly 50 players, whereas Susie's only got eight players in her battle. So it's without a doubt that the PC takes the online gaming section. Yay! And with two to one, it takes the challenge. Oh, won't you take me home tonight? All right. I recreate some of photography's most memorable moments to find the best photo editing software. 